Um, in general, password cracking really is recreating the password. Um, there's a guy that lived back in the 1800s, his name was Kirchhoff, and Kirchhoff's principle states that we know the inner workings of a crypto system, and with that being said, you have more scrutinization of that crypto system, and it's generally going to induce more confidence or inspire more confidence in the crypt cryptographic algorithms if the only secrecy is known as the key and it still can't be compromised. So in a nutshell, what that means is we know how data is processed to put it into the stored hashed representations that are actually going to be used by the operating system. For example, land manager authentication. We know that we take an up to 14 character password. If it's not 14 characters in length, it's actually going to be padded to 14 characters. So let's say, for example, our password was quite simply password. There's a lot of reasons why LM is going to be the most insecure authentication protocol. It actually cuts some corners and reduces the number of possible combinations that are going to be available for any given number of characters and then the character set itself. It's going to actually cut that password in half to two seven character seconds. So it's going to pad out with null bytes, D and, and beyond. Pass war, seven characters, and they're actually going to upconvert that to uppercase. So that eliminates case sensitivity, which eliminates a lot of variability and reduces the effort in actually cracking it. These are then going to be actually desencrypted, which is sort of bizarre for a, a hashing function, but it's going to be desed actually with the password itself. That gives you the two halves of the password hash, which are then concatenated to give you your overall stored representation. So when we're attacking this, there's a reason that we suggest eight character passwords. From seven to eight, you make a substantial jump in the work effort required to crack it, and it generally puts that, that password crack out of a usable time frame. Seven characters are actually pretty trivial. So basically what we've done is take what was a nice long password, or at least eight characters, and cut it to two bite-sized chunks. We're just going to attack both at the same time. So we attack each hash independently, and the attacks generally are going to succeed much more quickly than in some sort of a, like an NTLM, which is also used in Kerberos authentication. So that's one methodology uh, for the encryption of the password. NTLM, for example, the whole thing is converted to Unicode. It's an MD4 or MD5, depending on the version, and that's a much more secure representation. So basically what we do, we go to crack a password, we've either got a dictionary file, hybrid, and brute force. In a dictionary attack, this is why we don't use dictionary words as passwords. We have a list, and all we do is go down the list and process each word on the list through this algorithm. The idea is that if we match the resultant hash, we've got the right password. So we recreate it over and over and over again until we match the stored representation. So those will complete the most quickly, but there's no guarantee of success. So dictionary attacks are going to be the fastest. Hybrid attacks are going to take dictionary words and actually add random characters to them. So we're going to be producing variations of each dictionary word, exponentially increasing the number of candidates, but it's still not going to take as long as the brute force. In the brute force, we are trying every combination of characters until we get a match. So in a nutshell, A, B, C, D, etc. A, 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 B, A, C, A, D. And it's just like the odometer in a car. We'll exhaust the entire key space, and this guy is guaranteed success. The problem is, it could be a quadrillion years from now. So, brute force attacks take the longest, but they are guaranteed success. But again, they may not be uh, used, may not be uh, cracked in usable time frame.